It's Sunday the 5th of November, bonfire night. I've shaved off my beard and we are here at the Telford Centre for Ultimate Stance 2023. Hey guys, it's Blade again from Corridor Security and yes, we are at the Telford Centre for Ultimate Stance 2023. This car show is probably the last car show of the season and probably the lowest car show of the season. You've got some seriously exciting cars here, wide bodied, super, super low, and it's all about the stance here, hence the name. But yeah, we're gonna take a look around as we always do, find some really, really nice cars and talk about them. But I'm gonna address the elephant in the room and yes, I've shaved my beard off and I'm not going crazy. I've not just shaved it off for no reason. Uh, I've shaved it off for Movember. So I'm gonna grow a little tash. We'll see what you think. But yeah, I know I look like a 15 year old boy at the moment, but it will, it will come back, don't worry. We're gonna go and see some cars and yeah, let's get on with it. So we're in one of the inside rooms. I call this the quiet room. So they make this room available every year for Ultimate Stance. And as you can hear in my voice, I kind of have to whisper because it is like silent in here, but there are some serious cars in this room. I wouldn't say it's anything particular, any particular kind of genre of vehicles, but I would just say it's the kind of stance show and shine area. But yeah, let's have a look around in here, really. The first thing I've spotted is this 36 convertible. The main thing that stands out to me on this is the colour. I mean, if you have a look, it's absolutely gorgeous. And this, I'm pretty certain, is not a wrap. This is really, really good paintwork. Couldn't even tell you what colour that is, like a violet, purpley, pinky colour. But it looks stunning, especially in the lighting in here. So he's even decided to take the bonnet off so we can see the gleaming engine bay. So everything's tucked, everything's hidden away and you get to see the engine. I don't know BMWs, I'm gonna be honest, but the engine from E46 M3 by the looks of it, and yeah, it's done a proper good job with that. And even the interior has been done to an extremely high standard. I mean, it's obviously gray leather, but it's trimmed with the pink stitching just to match the color of the car. Um, yeah, it's all around wicked looking car. How about this absolutely gorgeous blue 2002, wide bodied, on air as well. Come have a look. So to me that looks like the V8 lump out of a 5 E39 5 series or E38 7 series probably a 4 litre V8 in there in a 2002. That's one thing. Obviously blue lighting, everything immaculate. Let's come around the back. Obviously, as I mentioned, on airlift performance, he's got a fuel cell on the back with fuel pumps exposed. It all looks kind of race car spec, but also show car spec, so it's quite, quite a nice combination. He's even put like pictures here of when he's restored the car and what it's looked like in different stages, which is nice to see as well. And then you've got the quad exhaust coming out the centre of the rear bumper down here as well. So just coming around the other side of the car, I've just spotted this. I'm going to cover that because that's not, probably not child friendly, but they've gone to the effort of explaining how this car was built in a, just a very brief paragraph. Uh, what's in it, what they've done, how much they paid for it when it was new. And I quite like that. Obviously you see all of these cars and they look really, really nice, but you don't know the story of the car. So it's nice to kind of read through the quick uh, story of the car, what the owner's done to it. 
to get it to where it is now. So I do like to see that. And look at this Time Attack Edition Evo 6. So they've even gone to the extent of taking out the glass in the windows and putting plexiglass in there with the little sliders just to save weight. And then inside it's just completely stripped. Obviously they've got the cage in there, bucket seats, and then the removable steering wheel. So they've done everything they can to strip weight out to make it as fast as possible. And then from the back, you've got the massive carbon wing. Again, functional aero. And they've even put a little booklet here of the car in stages of being built. Again, which I quite enjoy. It's quite good to see that. So we've got the RC Drift Arena here. They're drifting around their RC cars, which seems to be a bit of a tradition with Ultimate Starts, Ultimate Dubs. There always is a RC Drift Arena here, which is nice to see. It's pretty cool, to be honest, and seeing all the cars drifting around. All right, so this is Driftworks Lamborghini Murcia Lago, and it looks wicked. So just look at the size of it. It's absolutely huge. And They've obviously done their touch to it. So you've got the carbon splitter, you've got the yellow headlights, but it's got carbon behind the headlights as well. And I'm pretty sure the majority of that car is carbon at the moment as well, because you can see in the wings, it's got the, the vents, which are also carbon as well. And if, I don't know if you can see from here, with that massive rear wing at the back, it looks sick. So in the true fashion of stance, they've even stanced out the little kids' bikes. Look at them, they look wicked, they're like that. Now look at this Corvette drift car, fully carbon and carbon Kevlar. From here, I can see the absolutely enormous, enormous, ginormous, huge, put together, uh, turbo under the bonnet. Now look at that. That is a turbo. There's my fist for comparison. It is huge. That's like, I couldn't even tell you how big that is. It's just massive. And then you've got the side exit exhaust with the screamer pipes next to it. This thing came in earlier when we were setting up and it just deafened everyone. It was ridiculously loud. So from this side, I can actually see what engine's in it. And it's not a V8. I understand now why it's got such a massive turbo because it's a rotary engine. So it's a three rotor. So like what you'd find in like an RX-8, but built up. Sorry, not an RX-8, RX-7 and RX-8. Something different, I guess. Bloody hell, it's heavy. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah, so it's got the full radium like fuel cell, that's got everything in there, swirl pot, everything all in one, and then it's a quick change differential that's pretty much in all the drift cars. So. Oh, shit, yeah. You just pop that back plate off and you can just change the gear ratio. Oh, right, okay. Like in five minutes, basically, you having to change the whole tip out. How much does this weigh? Uh, I think it's 1220 last time I weighed it. So the owner's kindly taken the, the rear hatch area off for me. Um, so you can see the fuel cell and the and the diff. So if you come down. So you've got the fuel cell and you've got the diff. So he told me this is a quick change diff, so you can literally just unbolt this and change the gear ratio if need be. And there's a rear, ma rear mounted rad. So all the, all the air comes in through here. And then you've got the fans at the back there to keep everything cool. Uh, 
racing. So we're going to try out the racing sim here, right? Full motion VR. Now the full motion means pitch your and sorry, pitch roll and your so the back end. Okay. That's the main thing. Yep. That's what you want. Full back end. Okay, so this is not just your everyday racing sim, right? Not everyday, no. We got top of the range, Mozza direct drive, four speed back wheels, pedals, tillet seats. So these are racing motorsport company racing seats. These are FIA approved. Right. So it's the same stuff you'll get in a race car. Right, okay. We race in real life and use these in our cars as well. Okay. Four speed back wheels and then full motion. So basically, oh. with the VR, you'll feel what the car's doing. Mm -hmm. It's as close as you're ever going to get to being in a real race car. Wow, cool. And if you mess it up, you will be in a wall. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. <laughs> nice. Well, if I can have a go, that'd be great. All right. Ideally, keep your hands at nine and three. Yep. If you turn any more than than that, yep. And it's not turning. It just means you're normally going in a bit too quick. Yep. Try not to let go of it because you're in VR. Mm -hmm. It will kick back on you. Yep. And if it kicks back on you and you grab it in the wrong place, you might catch your hand on there or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cool. So try and keep your hands at it all the time. Yep. If you hit a wall. And be, you know, let go, you're all right. Yeah, but right. make sure the wheel's straight again before you grab it. You're in a McLaren. Cool. GT3, 650. Yeah. And you're on Brands Indy, okay? Cool. So Paddock Hill Bend yep. is scary as hell in real life. All right, cool. And it's kind of the same in here as well, okay? All right, sweet. And everyone tricks up on the last corner. The last corner tightens up on you, all right? Yep, cool. Once all the lights go out, Keep the revs up, click it into first and you're away. All right, so that was something a little bit different with the sim racing. I got third, which ain't too bad for the first time, but there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people, seven people on the lead award, so. But yeah, not too bad, it was a good experience, so yeah, we'll do that next time. Bagged. What do you reckon on Raj's one? Should we bag it? I think we should. On the Ford's uh, wheels, but splits. I think it looks wicked. It's it nice and standard. It's got the standard seats in there. It's just got a Nardi steering wheel and the Stjana Gloss can in there. But I mean, it's a classic, classic car. Anything you do need to do to these is put a fuck off massive exhaust on it. <laughs> but yeah, this looks wicked. beautiful E21 Motorsport, proper old school Motorsport edition. It's got the fan blades on the front, side exit exhaust, and a massive rear wing, and just fully caged, stripped out race spec. It looks awesome. Yeah, the livery sets it off as well, makes it look absolutely wicked, and you've got the massive front splitter on there as well. And it's got like massive supports all the way around. Obviously functional aero again. But yeah, I love these Motorsport inspired cars. They just look awesome. Right guys, so that concludes the walk around of Ultimate Stance. Um, this is a massive show and a very good one at the least. Uh, I mean, it's the, like I say, it's the last show of the se season. Um, the weather outside is awful. Uh, so it's nice to have an indoor show. Um, and there's a really, really good variety of vehicles here. Literally fit for everyone, different tastes. So we've tried to look at obviously different tastes of vehicles. Obviously, like I say in, in the previous videos, if we haven't reviewed a, a vehicle that you want to see, unfortunately, there is just so much here, I'm not going to be able to review everything. So if there are certain vehicles that you do want to see on the channel, just pop it in the comments. Uh, but I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Now, new Slam Sanctuary merch. I am wearing the new Slam Sanctuary Cars and Coffee hoodie. Wicked hoodie, to be honest. I, I really like it. It's nice and comfy. 
Um, but they're live on Slam Sanctuary website. We're selling them at the show here as well. So hopefully we don't sell out of all of them so you can still buy them. So those bits of merch are available on the Slam Sanctuary website. So if you want one, grab one now. So that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.